Help support the companies that support our community.
I turned the basic profile of the finial on the lathe and then took it off and put it onto the carving stand to start shaping it. The carving stand, I've used it several times. I'll put a link down below in the description. It's from Trent Bosch. And if you like doing stuff like this, it works fantastic. You can move that thing any way you want and it works great, holds it very well. So the finial on this one, we're kind of looking around at different finial shapes, but I, I can't do on something like this, I can't do just a delicate finial on it because the box is four and a half inches around. So it's not comfortable to reach around and grab it and you can't grab it, you know, from the spikes or anything. So I needed a finial that was a little beefier that, that you could actually grab a hold of and use. So that's why Robin found one that she liked and it, was, it wasn't it was even a turn to piece, it was just something else. And so I kind of went off of that, that design. But really like the way it came out, the wood is ebony for the finial. The burl I got from uh, Trevor at Worldwide Burls. It is absolutely beautiful. I'll put a link down below in the description to his Instagram page. He does uh, auctions every day and, and giveaways and stuff. So go check it out. It's has some beautiful stuff. The box, I, I really I like the, the shape of it. I we Robin found one so I wanted to keep the cap on it so that's what we were searching for and she found one that looked very similar to this and for the life of me I can't remember his name right now I will put it right here but he made one very similar to this uh, different different style finial but basically the same shape of the box and I just kind of wanted to highlight that so it was, we went off of his design the whole box again, yeah, seven and a half inches tall, four and a half inches in diameter. It's just beautiful. The so the lid on this one too, you don't want that that pop on it where you have to have to pull this off. It just barely fits on there. There's no play in it, but it's definitely something you don't want the the actual bottom of it lifting up when you pull the box off. And all the grain lines up on it. I really like the way it came out. Uh, one other thing on this, something like this, is if you're going to do a box like this, try and get a piece of burl that is as flat as possible as far as the natural edge of the spikes on the top of it. Because from this side, the proportions look great. It's it's not very, the lid's not very tall. It looks proportioned. On this side, it looks proportioned. But when you turn it around, because this side goes up a little bit, it looks a little odd. It's just off. The lid looks too big. So try and find one that's, that's a little, little more even. Um, this one isn't bad, but if it's way up on one side, it'll look odd when, when you turn the box around. But I like the way it came out. Uh, Thank you so much for all the great comments on the last video. I, apparently, I didn't know how many people 5% was. So thank you for sticking around. I will try and go into more detail and just be completely comfortable. Uh, from now on, I'm just letting it all go. Um, we. Uh, I got another uh, uh, club demo coming up on Saturday, a remote demo. So we're doing that. We're doing the Cryptex boxes for a club. And I'm just super excited about this. Even with everything that's going on, <clears throat> um, I know this is, is remote demos are great for right now, but even after this is all over, there's a lot of clubs that were doing it way before this, this whole thing started. And if you have any questions, if you're a member of an attorney club, if you have any questions, just email me. My email's down in the description too, and I will get you set up with, or get you in contact with the right people who can tell you all the stuff you need to, for your club to start doing this, because I think it's fantastic. Even when you can meet, it's a great, affordable way to get demonstrators from all over the world and to demonstrate for your club. So I will put a link down below to my email and then I will, I'll will i help you find the, the right people to talk to and get you set up with that because it's it's great, great way. See, now I'm getting weird again. Great, great. It's super great. <laughs> um, all right. I think that is about it. Uh, I put, uh, I used the doctor's oil on it. I love that satin finish. I will put, uh, have some close-ups of it. I'm trying to think of anything else I was supposed to say, but I think that's it. Um, the box, yeah, I really, really like it. I, uh, uh, gonna do some other things with the, with the rest of the wood there, but I hope you enjoyed the video and please hit the subscribe button and like and I will see you on the next one. See, even when I'm trying to be just completely normal and comfortable, I still forget things. So check this out. 
I couldn't have got, gotten much thinner on that. It was just right there. I was messing around. I kind of wanted to see, you know, how close it was. And I held the light up there, and I think the light burnt through it. It was, it's crazy. If you are making a box like this, where you, you want a finial, you know, drilling in for a finial, on something shallow like this it's not a big deal if you drill all the way through you can just put a little button on it or something i've done boxes like that where i just drilled through on purpose and then did a little accent button or something in there and it's actually a nice little touch so it's not a not a big deal if i would have gone through but i think i could push a hole through with my fingernail but it came out and one of the things yeah, i forgot this too when i was cleaning up the bottom of it the the tenon on that jam chuck wasn't quite tight enough and it started it popped off and started spinning around and fell on the floor so there's the blooper for the video all right have a great one see ya